Ipswich here in the dark shirts. Commentator Jerry Harrison, pictures from Anglia. Dugan and the Hunter. Brian Hamilton. Oh, and Richards is there. And beautifully taken. And Richards with his 32nd goal of the season. But the man who gave it to him is Brian Hamilton. So Brian Hamilton put under pressure. Not too much pressure, though. Comes it back to David Best, but Richards is there, of course, in an offside position, but you can't be offside when you receive like that, and neatly slots it through David's, David Best's legs. Bill John beaten by Parkin. Mills. Oh, Bill John, beautiful control. Why mark? Parks is hurt. Well, Weimark looked as if he got that one sewn up. Dugan beats Beatty. And Richards is causing a bit of trouble. Weimark coming to park in. Weimark doing so well to get that. Away by McCall. Dugan is not offside. Dugan's got a chance here. And a good save. Beautiful save by Best, and the Ipswich players still appealing to the referee. Those of them not involved, like uh, Ryan Hamilton here, that Dugan was well offside. But Hamilton going again. So you've got to feel sorry for Brian Hamilton. There he is taking that throw. He is given Wolves that goal with that back pass, but he's really worked terrifically hard the whole game. Now, Mills, back from Johnson, Mills, Hamilton, and he still cannot get a shot at Parks. Beatty deliberately letting it go so that Hunter can pick it up. Munro's powerful header, lovely play by Hunter, Dugan behind him. Pass power. Lambert on the left. Bill John, Weimark and Johnson in the penalty area. Lambert still going. Hamilton, can he pull it down? Parkins leg. Johnson. And so many Wolves players there, and the ball never seemed even to get him through to goalkeeper Parks. Mills tip forward. And surely Viljon being pushed off badly. And a punch-up developing between them. And quite definitely Viljon was being pushed off before that cross came over. Viljon then pushed Munro in return and the punch-up's done. And this will be grotesquely unfair if only Viljon gets his name taken. From this position, it looked as that cross came over as if Munro was doing the pushing and Viljon is going to be off. And there's a danger here of more than one of them being sent off. And indeed, Munro is going off. He'd been warned twice and that punch up developed. And from this distance, it looks certainly as if he was leaning on Viljon first. But the tragedy of it is that Phil John has got to go too. Now that is a real tragedy and a controversial one. It's the first incident of any sort that Phil John has been involved in. Munro, that's his third warning he's had in the game. He goes off, but the man who, who wasn't the guilty party to start with, he's got to go off with him. Johnson, parking behind him. Mills, up goes Weimark, Morris, yes! Peter Morris, a powerful shot, but it looked as if goalkeeper Parks had it covered, and that is Peter Morris's first goal of the season, and what a vital one. Not a powerful kick, but straight to Kinden, and Wolves happily 
possession, but too slow. Weimar gets it off him, and away comes Mills, with Johnson going on the right. A call comes across. Here's Lambert. He had time, he had so much time, and he knows it. Now Kinden, will he get one of these runs going? Dugan's calling for it over this side. That's for Dugan. Still in play with Wagstaff just behind him. And Bailey Square. Past Harper. Morris is half in. Bailey, a slick one, but it was straight to Beatty. Why Mark with Parkin? Why Mark not giving Parkin any time to turn and control it? Johnson with Brian Hamilton going past there, but off it goes. Powell. Straight to Harper, Lambert, Harper helping him on the left, but will he have a go at Taylor? Pass him one way, Why, Mark? Trevor Weimark, his first goal for seven games, but made by that run by Mick Lambert. Lambert looks as if he'd been shielded out of it, turns past Taylor, puts one in across, which really didn't have too much power behind it, but Weimark getting low to it, he hasn't had the luck in front of goal, but this time made absolutely certain, and Ipswich 2-1 in the lead, and there's still 17 minutes at least left.